My name is Ashley Lapar. I am a graduate from the NEAC School of Ed. I got my master's in curriculum and instruction and my undergrad in elementary education. The NEAC School of Ed prepared me in many ways, more ways than I realized until I was actually in the classroom teaching. So one of the best things they did was really teach you how to reflect. It was almost like a joke, reflect, reflect, reflect. Did I help the students? What students didn't I reach? You know, how to make students critical thinkers and problem solving, challenging, all the things that make for good teaching. I picked UConn because it was a very unique school. Um, I had heard great things about the experience itself, having um, placements in rural areas, urban areas, and suburban areas. I think having the diversity of staff at UConn and also having different experiences inside and outside of the classroom. Spanish was definitely part of my heritage, but it was also exciting. I mean, you can do so many things in a language class. You can study history and art, uh, music, geography, any subject that you want, you can do it through language. And I really do enjoy teaching everything across the board. I'm Jocelyn Tamborello Noble, and I'm an alumni of the NEAG School of Education. My name is Keith Savigny. I am a STEM teacher at Annie Fisher STEM Magnet School in Hartford, Connecticut. I've been in industry doing drug development. It was rewarding, but it wasn't the kind of reward that I was looking for. So I kind of changed career paths at that point and I started thinking about teaching um, and thinking about making a, a difference in a different way. The program really taught me a lot about myself and, and, and where my education comes from and how I developed as a person and as a young adult. And here at Annie Fisher STEM, um, we're really trying to push uh, the boundaries of, of what makes um, a strong 21st century education. We're just seeing the kids grow leaps and bounds in terms of um, how they see themselves and how they see the world around them. I'm Beth Rayner. I teach in Hartford Public High School in the Nursing Academy and I teach biology to 10th graders. Here you have a community of people, of peers, and of um, professional mentors. The faculty was there for me, if anything, were to come up or if I needed somebody to talk to or if I needed some advice. I felt very well prepared. I'm Beth Rayner and I'm a STEM teacher. I thought I wanted to be a doctor just because of the money, <laughs> because I would be set for life, and um, I guess the glamour of it all. But while I was substitute teaching, it was just, it was special. I had just the most amazing experience student teaching. I was prepared for my coursework. I had a cooperating teacher that was supportive. I remember the first day when she handed me a worksheet and it was just like, okay, I have to start now. <laughs> and she um, came up to me after that class and told me, you know, how, what a good job I had done taking the lead and I just looked prepared and confident. From that moment on, I sort of had confidence that I could do this and do a good job and kids would learn. I'm Allison Strolley, I'm a STEM teacher. The bottom line for me has always been the students and what can I do to make myself better. If you show the kids that you care and if you show the kids your energy, it's bound to rub off. I chose NIAG because it had such a great reputation in the state of Connecticut and nationwide too. I'm Bobby Scarvellis and I am a NIAG School of Education alum, graduated in 2007 and I'm currently a social studies teacher here at Glastonbury High School. I think it actually prepares you to go into the classroom and be a teacher and they really focus on um, you getting your job and what it's gonna be like in the classroom and you know, really focusing on what it is like to be a teacher and to prepare you to be in that field. Teaching is hard work and it's a lot of prep and it's a lot of work, but so rewarding. My name is Jenna Carlson and I'm a STEM teacher. I've been teaching many, many years. When it was time to retire, I decided to continue to teach. At the, at the NEAG school and pursuing my PhD, I had to learn how to read research. We spend a lot of money in this country on the kid who doesn't get it. I never once ever had a teacher say to me, what about the kid who does get it? So I needed to go back to school to learn more about the child who does get it. And the NEAG school is probably one of the three best in the country for that. I'm Rachel McAnellen and a recent graduate of the NEAG School of Education. 